I want to present to you today the iBot X6 V2, our common use project, a product for mobile mapping applications and a worldwide new HP GNSS module, which you can see on the top of the copter. The HP GNSS module is used for high precision mapping applications and it's possible to, um, to save up to 40% of miss miss mission time with this new module. It's a plug and play solution, so um, you just have to plug it into your common drone and you have the possibility to use it in RTK, real-time kinematic models, and also uh, as a post-processing solution. So what we have here is the antenna of the module and it's completely included a high standard, Leica standard, um, GNSS receiver with the capability of use GPS and CLONUS simultaneously in dual frequency mode and also um, with the capability to uh, have up to 50 hertz of update rate to get the highest accuracy of up to one centimeter in position and altitude. Prior we had a common use GNSS module uh, which used uh, GPS and a single frequency as it is commonly used on most of the drones with an accuracy of about um, two to five meters. And if you want to use the normal module, if you use it with such an accuracy and use it for direct georeferencing, so you, uh, you have um, your images direct reference, you, get, you also need ground reference points on the ground and uh, this takes time to measure these points and you can avoid them um, with the new HP GNSS module. And the ground control points are uh, avoided due to the high accuracy you reach in real time on the drone itself. So with a common GPS you have uh, two to five meter and with the HP GNSS you have a centimeter accuracy in real time uh, why are, uh, when you are flying and you can reference really accurate the um, coordinate where the image is taken and uh, the RTK capability we have the RTK capability via our ground reference station so you have your ground station a common laptop can be used and you have a direct link to the copter and when you use our software I Pro Flight, you have the can reach the centimeter accuracy in real time via an Antrip service, or alternatively, you can also use a GNSS base station via radio modem or direct link. You can integrate any base station you want. Uh, you, the only thing you need is RTCM 3.0 or 3.1 protocol, and you can use with this protocol any Antrip service or base station, so also the base station you already have. We have an existing um, radio link to our ground station um, via a 800 megahertz radio link and you can use your ground station as a transmitter for this data and use your ground station um, one option via internet and trip services and on the second option with the base station, GNSS base station. So um, the module itself is plug and play compatible with all iBot X6 and can be uh, yeah, used um, from now on. Um, especially if you have um, vast environments and you have to save as much time on site as possible. Um, you have to use such a module because uh, the most time consuming um, the steps you have to do on ground uh, on the site is to lay the ground reference targets. So, um, for example, if you spend uh, one day on the site, mostly half of the day or mo more is used for ground reference targets, and the mission execution is um, just minutes. Here's the module, uh, how you will receive it. Um, you can order it with a new copter, or you can also update it on your existing iBot X6 V2 and it's as simple and light as possible because uh, you have to mention that um, every weight we have on the copter itself will give you less flight time and this module only weights 180 grams 
and you can have the same flight time with this module or not. So uh, here you see the antenna, a uh, dual band antenna, and it's as simple as possible. On the bottom side, you just have the plug here and the possibility to store your uh, GNSS raw data on an SD card. And if you mount it, just put it on the roof and click on and it's ready to be used. You can also buy the, uh, if you have an existing iBot X6, you can also buy the module itself and use it as a plug and play compatibility. So what you see here in the air is our brand new and the worldwide first fully solution working um, hyperspectral camera on a copter. Um, in collaboration with Headwall uh, Photonics from USA, we use the Headwall Nano sensor. Uh, it's a hyperspectral line sensor with up to 460 single line bands to integrate it completely on our copter and fully integrate it in our solution so you can use it um, with the copter itself. Um, Hyperspectral imaging gives you the advantage to get hypercubes and with such hypercubes you get so much data that you don't need to know prior to uh, when you're flying a mission uh, what you want to search for because you get so much data you can look for anything you want. Um, the hyperspectral uh, imaging works in uh, 400 to 1000 nanometer band range and this is the near infrared band range and captures up to 460 bands simultaneously. So um, it is a complete integrated solution. You have um, data storage on the, um, on the sensor itself. You have a separately IMU sensor, high class IMU sensor and also GNSS receiver to geo-reference your data and um, to uh, store it on the sensor itself and uh, you have then the possibility to download the data up to 500 gigabytes and uh, process the data with the existing solutions from Headwall Photonics. If you use a normal um, multi-spectral camera, example uh, with four or six bands simultaneously, um, you have to know what you are looking for on the ground because you change uh, and uh, decide what bands you want to capture with the camera. Um, with such a camera you can uh, capture many bands simultaneously and uh, you don't need to know what to capture so you just fly your mission and decide afterwards what you want to look for. The complete workflow is included in existing software solutions from iBotics and Headwall Photonics. So the mission planning and flight execution is uh, completely included in the iProfly software from iBotics. And afterwards, when you made the mission, you can use uh, existing software solutions from Headwall Photonics for analyzing and um, georeferencing the data. So we are using a high-class line sensor and with such a line sensor you have the challenge uh, of the stability of the system itself so we made a complete new gimbal and use the gimbal for stabilizing the uh, sensor itself and uh, the existing sensors and multispectral sensors on the market have the challenge uh, with the limited band width and uh, the new hyperspectral sensors and especially the headwall sensor has the capability of uh, capturing many uh, bandwidths at uh, once and also the, uh, the weight of the sensor itself is uh, really light so the sensor itself only weighs about 600 grams completely included and you reach a really high flight time with such a sensor and it is completely integrated on the multicopter and this is uh, the worldwide first solution.